Hi friends, I'm Niharika. Well, last week I went bungee jumping and it was so much fun, it was so exciting. But I went by myself. My friend ditched me. Well, she is such a coward. So, this lesson is about people who are very coward. Now, coward is a character trait. Um, someone who gets uh, afraid easily, okay, or scared very easily. So that person is a coward. Now in English, we have a lot of uh, slang words for a coward person. So this lesson is for the youngsters, especially who have friends who are very coward. So if you do have a friend who is coward, well, these are the words for you. So let's learn. The first one is pansy. Pansy, have you heard that? Well, pansy, um, you would actually call a guy pansy, but uh, the literal meaning of pansy is formerly a woman. Now, it is a known fact that women are, um, you know, weak and uh, or weak hearted and they're not very strong and they get uh, scared very easily. I'm sorry, I don't believe that. I'm a woman myself. I think we are very strong. Look, I went bungee jumping, right? So we are strong, but then, you know, it is a belief that uh, women are pretty weak. So someone whom you call pansy, especially guys, it means that guy is so weak and is so feminine, okay? So if you have a guy friend who is a coward, then you can use the word pansy. Another one is sissy. Well, sissy, um, the word is derived from the word sister. Okay, actually, uh, the short form of sister, that's sis. And then, of course, a word was formed sissy. Now, sissy is, again, um, someone who is very weak, okay, and not very strong-hearted. So that person, you can call him sissy. You're such a sissy. Okay, so that's how you can use it. The next one, chicken. Now we human beings, we love to compare. And very often we do compare people with animals. So like the bird chicken, do you think chicken is very brave? Oh no, go try catch a chicken. It's so difficult because chicken are uh, very fearful. So, uh, you know, the word chicken is perfect for a person who is such a coward. Now, there's another term called chicken shit. Well, not a great word to use. It can be pretty offending as well. So, use it with your close uh, friends only, okay? Don't use it for any random person because I'm sure that person will not like you calling him or her chicken shit. You are such a chicken shit. Don't do that. So, but yes, there is another slang term for people who are very scared or who uh, get scared very easily. They are absolutely chicken shit or chicken, okay? Well, actually, yes. I mean, if you think a chicken is not very brave like a eagle or like a hawk, right? So it's okay to compare people with chicken. The next one, cry baby. You're such a cry baby. You know, I have this friend of mine. We've been friends for a very, very long time now, but she keeps on whining all the time. You ask her something, okay, come on, let's do this or let's do that. Let's go, let's go parasailing, let's go uh, boating. And all the time she does is whine. Well, I'm so done with that and I, you know, we always keep telling her, you are such a crybaby. So crybaby is again someone who keeps whining. Whining for everything. And of course, is always very scared or very skeptical about doing something or the other. Okay, so that person is such a crybaby. Next one, mama's boy. We women love this term because every man that we come across, 
we think that man is way too dependent on their mother. So yes, I do have friends who are absolutely mama's boy. They need their mothers to protect them or they're way too attached to their mothers. So they won't do anything without their mothers. Well, that's just an exaggeration. So someone who is, uh, you know, way too attached to their mothers and, uh, you know, are very scared to do anything, they are absolutely mama's boy. Do you have a friend, a guy friend who is an absolute mama's boy? Well, let me know who are, who is he, okay? So someone who um, need their mothers everywhere, okay? Or someone who's just way too scared to do something, okay? Next one, cream puff. Oh, have you eaten cream puff before? It's nice. It's absolutely delicious. Well, cream puff is, um, is like a pastry with some whipped cream or with some custard. It's nice. All girls love it. So this term is used for men who are extremely feminine, okay, or effeminate. So someone who is extremely effeminate, again, someone who's very girly, feminine, well, cream puff is the right word to use. So yes, use it if you have friends who get scared easily, okay, who are very fearful and who denote effeminism, okay? The next one, pigeon-hearted. Well, pigeon-hearted is just like a chicken or chicken shit. Pigeon-hearted is, again, have you observed a pigeon? Well, the moment you try to go close to a pigeon, the pigeon flies away. Or the moment you try to hush a pigeon, the pigeon is so scared and the pigeon flies away, right? So pigeon-hearted is, again, uh, compared to a person uh, who is very scared of things, okay? Uh, even the well, slightest, slightest of noise in dark would totally scare that person. So this means that person is pigeon hearted. It can be used for girls and as well as for boys, okay, who are very scared, okay? So use pigeon hearted to compare. The next one, grow a pair. Why don't you grow a pair? Well, specifically grow a pair of balls. Well, balls here means uh, testicles. So it is said, uh, the man who has testicles, well, every man does, but uh, that man is very brave. If you have balls, it means you are very manly, you're very brave. So if you spot a guy who is very scared of everything or who is very, um, who's being a coward, then, you know, men love to use this especially all the guys when they get together you're like hey man grow a pair so grow a pair it means grow a pair of balls you need to be brave you can't be scared like this okay so this uh, term can be used among the guys okay girls please don't use it would not sound great okay so boys yes I mean it's okay boys using it so use this for a guy friend of yours who is scared all the time okay next one gutless now gutless um, someone who has guts now guts is organs okay is um, considered to be very brave okay oh you've got guts man so if I try to jump from 30 feet above then I have guts which means I am brave I'm very confident to do so but if I say I'm absolutely gutless, it means I am a coward. I am scared. So someone who has guts, then yes, is a very brave person. But a gutless person is very coward. Okay? So, or not brave. That's how you can use it. And then the last one is worm. Now, worm is used by army people. It, uh, it's used in a very sarcastic manner. And, you know, especially army training is very strict, right? And it's very intense. So the people who are not uh, 
concentrating or who are not working very hard um, are not paying attention to their training and they are a little scared or afraid then army people use this term you are such a worm or stop being a worm so it is used to insult or taunt that person that you are so scared of everything you are such a coward so very commonly used among the army people of course even you can use it because the term is again uh, very commonly used by people as well so worm is for the person who is very scared okay so these are fun words they are easy to use and use them among the friends especially you young generation out there please do use it if you have friends who are cowards okay and i'll be back with a new lesson till then you take care and have a great day